It is Valentine's Day today, but a lot of people have recently gone through a breakup. While some people are celebrating love, other people are experiencing a traumatic experience. But there are some cases, and this is one of them, where a breakup will actually make you feel or leave you feeling amazing. And that is when you break up with your debt. My name is Jacques Tallyar, my channel is Procure Accounting Services and if you're new here, thank you for watching and welcome. I hope you find value in this. By now you might have probably seen one of my videos about interest. Now interest can be one of the main reasons why debt can be a killer. It's one of the biggest reasons why breaking up with your debt is a good idea. Interest and debt has this nasty habit of becoming a parasite on your cash flow and becoming a parasite on just your life. It causes frustration, sleepless nights, constant experiencing stress levels, going through times where you fight with, if you're in a relationship with another person, fighting with your partner, fighting with your friends, family, yourself. This, well, debt collectors. Now this could all mean eventually leading to depression, which isn't as good as, well, depression itself is a bad thing. So there's a lot of reasons for why you should break up with debt, but there's good news and bad news in this regard. The good news is that it is possible to get out of this abusive relationship. The bad news is that it does take a bit of time. Now, because this can be considered an emergency, you need a, an emergency response plan. And because I am a good guy like that, I'm going to give you a plan for how you can get out of debt right now. So grab a pen and paper and let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to find out exactly how much money you owe in total, how much you owe to each person or each creditor and what the interest rates for each of those are. That is step one. You need to find out exactly how much you owe and to whom. Then you need to find out what you can afford to pay. Now, quite often you would already know exactly what you are paying and that it's difficult for you to afford that. Find out how much you can afford. Now, this is where your budget can quite often come into play and it would be a very useful tool. You'd be able to see exactly how much you've already paid or you are already paying as well as how much you could essentially pay extra. Then step number three would be to make provisions for those extra payments. Now, bearing in mind an extra payment is going to take a bit more cash out of your pocket. Step number four, pay off the amounts with the highest interest first. Not all interest rates are the same. Your interest rate in a long-term bond such as a home loan could be more or less prime. A, a loan such as over five years such as a vehicle, vehicle finance could be anything from 15 to 20%. Whereas if you went and bought a chair or a sofa at game, for example, you could pay as much as 24% over 24 months. So, and that's 24% per year over 24 months. Now, by paying off the amount with the highest interest first, you're reducing your interest rate that you pay off. Then, once that amount is paid off, pay over or make additional payments because now you will not have to make these payments again. You will have this cash flow available. Be disciplined, use that bit of extra money and pay off the next debt with the highest interest rate. Because you're doing this, essentially you are creating more money available for you in a shorter period of time in order for you to pay off bigger portions of your debt much faster. Then by the time you pay off one or two amounts, most likely you would already have paid off one or two 
others or you would be within a very short period of paying off the next one so the snowball effect of the amount of money that becomes available is not negligible it is material and it will be noticeable to you by paying off this one and then carrying on paying off the next one you will find out that the additional payments that you make will become larger and larger as you are disciplined in this and carrying on with it okay so then if you get any extra money such as selling secondhand equipment or things like you have to a secondhand store um, getting a bonus at work kind of thing um, yeah winning a small amount in the lotto doesn't matter any extra funds that you have put that towards your debt repayments and do not spend it right spending this means the money is gone and you'll never see it again paying off your debt means that in the future you will have more money now I understand this is not always possible but as far as possible as far as you can manage pay off your debts with a bit of extra money that you receive then stay away from taking out additional debt as far as possible again this isn't always the case you will not everybody is able to maintain an entirely debt-free life without taking up any new debt but the majority of people especially in South Africa find themselves in a situation where they take on debt because they want something they want a new couch they want a new TV they would like to spend some money on a big meal they would like to go on out for for dinner with the family to a fancy restaurant and inside in doing so they accumulate debt and the point where debt comes becomes more than you can actually afford to repay because a lot of people forget that you have to repay the funds the moment you get to that point that is when the debt becomes a bad thing and you find yourself in a very stressful and struggling situation so the best is to avoid additional debt while you are repaying your debt then so these are your steps that this is how you break up with your bad debt relationship or with your bad relationship with debt as such now there are exceptions to the rule where debt can be a good thing but as I've mentioned before when you are considering going into debt make sure that you do that in order to to finance something that will generate an income for you such as an investment property such as an investment in a business that can become profitable with a bit of input or an investment into a profitable business it is considered a good idea if your investment if the interest on your loan if the interest on your debt is less than the income you will have to generate or if the interest is less than the income you will generate in those cases the debt is a good relationship but they are few and far between and people are not always aware of them so for the general public as a rule break up with your debt and if it's difficult for you to do that and you're not able to do that on your own I implore you seek out debt counseling and debt review as soon as you become aware that you might be over indebted it's, there's no shame in debt review there's no shame in getting debt counseling it actually means that you have a bit of financial savvy and you are responsible you're taking responsibility for your financial situation and then a debt counselor is like having a counselor in a relationship and the counselor will help you with the situation my name is Jacques Tyler this is Petera Accounting Services and in a weekend that might be plagued with load shedding I hope you find a way to still have a great weekend